Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to continue helping this noob reach 3rd C using the Asidium Rifle. Where the actor slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! Okay guys, so to start it off, we're gonna start grinding the Cyborg. Gamer Nom, why? Guys, I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, so when you grind the cyborg, it gives out 10 million experience. It's easy to grind, server hop, you only need to defeat one mob, right? For the raiders, mercenaries, and diamond. My reason is, first off, the raiders are so far apart. Next up, the mercenaries, low experience, need slurring. And for the diamond, guys, it's near the cafe. There are lots of bounty hunters roaming around. Some might even defeat you just for fun. Okay, so back to Cyborg, our main damage output is our M1 left clicks and while it's reloading, make sure to dodge your enemy's attacks. Also, make sure to attack every time your gun reloads to maximize your damage. Again, don't forget to do server hop. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 775. When you reach that level, it's now time to grind in the second C. Okay, so off to the second C, one pirates, guys. If this mob gives out more experience than the cyborg and they're easy to defeat. So first you just need to lure 4. There you go. Okay. And after that, use your observation hockey. They might attack you and cancel your skills. Then use your Z and X skill. And that's it. Right? Very easy. More tips. You can go on top of the building. There you go. You can snipe them to lure them easily. The goal here is to reach level 850 or 900. It was at 850, you can start grinding, Jeremy. Go, stat check, 300 melee, defense is 570, gun 1680. So here's Jeremy again, guys. Your M1 is your main damage output. You can use your Z and X skill for additional damage, but I suggest you just keep on moving around to dodge his skills. Don't worry, your M1 is enough. Again, you can grind here until you reach level 900, server hop, but that's hard. So I suggest go back to Swan Pirate. So at 900, our stats would be same, same with the melee and defense. I added everything in the gun stat, okay? Next up, the green zone. So here, we're gonna start with the marine captains. So are they hard to defeat? Not for this gun. So you need to lure 5 for the first set, okay? 5, because you need to defeat 9, right? There you go, lure 5. Use your Z and X skill, and that's good. Next up, for the second set, you just need to lure 4. Guys, you can use your Observation Hockey to dodge their long-range skills, okay? There you go. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 925. And next up, Fajita or Fujitora. There you go. So here, guys, you can do Server Hop, okay? Because this area is kind of far from the cafe again. For the tips, Always maintain your distance so that you can react every time he uses his skills. So again, your main damage output is M1. I don't suggest using your Z and X skill because the moment you use that, he's gonna use a skill, but it really depends to you, okay? For our goal level, you need to reach level 1000 before we leave this area. Again, we've skipped the zombie and the vampires. Next area is the snow mountain. So here, we're just gonna grind snow troopers. Luring is the same with the Swan Pirates. First, you need to lure 4. You're gonna do this twice. Again, don't forget to use your Observation Hockey. Avoid your Z or X skill getting cancelled. Again, you need to do 2 sets of this. You need to defeat 8 to finish the quest. Our goal level here is to reach level 1100. And after that, just 400 levels to go. Stat check first. 330 melee. Defense is 670. Max gun at 2300. Okay, for our next island, the hot and cold, I'm gonna warn you because grinding here is kind of slower. Again, because of the mob placements. So here, I'm gonna show you the lab subordinates. You need to defeat 8, right? So you can just lure 3 here. Go on top of the tree. There you go. After that, go on the other side to defeat 2 more. And then go back to the previous 3. So you need 3 sets just to finish one quest. Gamer Nom, can I just use my observation hockey? Guys, I tried that. Look what happened. So I suggest just go on top of the tree, okay? <laughs> anyway, your goal here is to reach level 1150. And when you reach that level, everything will be a lot faster. Check this out, the Smoke Admiral. And this boss is easy to defeat. There are two ways to defeat him. First, use the wall. There you go. 
but here you can only use your skills so for me it's kind of slower so just go inside and defeat him use your m1 as main damage sometimes you can use your z and x skill but keep on dodging just make sure that you dodge because this boss can hit you okay okay so go here again is level 1250 yes 1250 we're gonna skip lots and lots of quests because this is the best one to grind at okay just do server hop uh, check melee 543 defense 910 max gun next island is the cursed ship so from here guys we're gonna start with the ship deckhand i'm gonna show you how to grind more efficiently so from here guys just lure four there you go three and four and znx skill actually it's almost the same with the other mobs there you go your goal level is to reach level 1300 once you reach that level next stop the ship stewards so guys this part is i think one of the hardest mobs to defeat why i'm gonna show it to you first we're gonna lure right so on the previous mobs we used just one z x skill but for this mob there you go i'm gonna show it to you one z one x it's not enough so again you can just left click them or use one z or x skill okay so the goal here is to reach level 1350 next island the ice castle last three mobs first off we're gonna start defeating the arctic warriors guys this is a lot easier compared to the ship they wards i don't know why check this out just use your left clicks to lure them and just one z and x skill is enough to burst them so you're gonna level up 50 times here and at level 1400 you're gonna start grinding the ice admiral so from here on you're just gonna do server hop and you defeat him just by using gun yes you can to be honest the damage of a siege rifle is really good so for your first combo z and x skill and some m1 clicks check the hp with just one z and x skill and some m1 clicks the damage is more than one fourth now so you're just gonna do it i think like three or four times and you're gonna defeat this boss and because of that we're gonna do again server hop here until you reach level 1475 which means last mob left in the forgotten island the tide keeper maybe some of you will ask gamer can we solo this boss he has a sea beast yes we can i'm gonna show it to you again our main damage output is from m1 we will check the damage 22,000. and then guys you're going to attack him here you're just gonna stand in this area okay in this rock hp check there go almost half guys you can prevent him from summoning his sea beast if you stay here okay but there you go just keep on doing what i told you and you will be able to defeat him okay so guys the goal here again is level 1500 and after that you will get a quest the Coliseum quest, make sure to defeat or finish the Bartholomew quest, defeat Swan, right? You need a fruit there, an expensive fruit. And after that, go here, finish the puzzle, and talk to the King Redhead, okay? After that, you need to defeat Indra, and then go to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain, and he will then send you to the third sea, okay? Okay, guys, so as proof, here is our, what do you call this? Badge, okay, badge. And that's it for this video. Again, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.